In this video, we'll learn how to remove a broken piece of filament out of a 3D printer's extruder. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You may have run into this. You try to change filament and for some reason your filament got riddled. You pull out a little bit too much and bam, your filament is broken right at the extruder's inlet or even worse, it's broken inside of your extruder and leaves the rest of filament sticking out so you're not able to insert new filament. Let's discover in this video how to fix this issue quickly and reliably. As in all of the videos, please check the description and comment section for additional information and be part of the community. So if you're left with some filament being stuck in your extruder and you cannot reach it from the outside, the first thing you want to do is to remove your filament cooling fan and the cooling block. This will enable you to see what's going on inside. If you have the extruder fan hinge mod installed, this is of course a lot easier. I'll put a link in the description and to a video how to install it up here. Now it doesn't make much sense to try to pull the filament out with a gripper in this tiny amount of space. Instead we take the other exit and will push the rest of the old filament out through the nozzle. Cut the filament right above the beginning of the throw tube and try to even reach a bit into the throw tube with nail scissors, a scalpel or a tiny clipper. Now we should heat up the extruder to the right printing temperature of the material being stuck in the nozzle. And now we should try to push the rest of the material a bit further into the nozzle by using a small metal rod that fits into the throat. Or if you can find such a rod, you can also try to use one of the hex wrenches that came with your printer. I think the smallest one that you will find should work. And now reassemble the filament cooling fan and the cooling block, but don't forget to turn off the printer before doing that, otherwise you might burn your hands. And after reassembling, you need to warm up your printer again to be able to push in the new filament. Now we can insert new filament into the throat, but make sure you clip the end of the new filament into an arrow shape so it fits easier into the throat. Push the extruder release button Insert the filament and push it into the throat until the filament starts flowing out of the extruder. But there's actually one more thing to remember. Because we disassembled and reassembled parts, you might have to do another bad leveling before starting to print. Congratulations, you're done! That's it for today. If you appreciate this video, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to my channel to support me creating new content and ring the bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.